What is up guys? It is your boy Steady Chaos. In this video, I want to talk about LFE plus main. What exactly does it mean? It's a setting you will find on your Denon AVR receiver. So I have a Denon uh, X6500H receiver and I have a 3.2 configuration, meaning I have a left center and right channel and two subwoofers. So if we go into the Denon X6500H settings, and we go to, I believe it's speakers, manual setup. And then we go down to base management. So I have it on LFE subwoofer mode right now. And as I said, you have an option to do LFE plus main. And in other receivers like Onkyo, whatever it might be known as double base or extra base. But here with Denon, it's LFE plus main. And don't quote me, but I think Marantz also it's LFE plus main. So basically what this setting is, is double bass. It's extra bass, it's duplicate bass. That's all it is, okay? And we'll get into the specifics here in this video, but first, what I think we should really clarify for people is what is LFE? LFE is what is recommended by most professionals and most experts in home theater and audio. That stands for low frequency effects, okay? So when you're talking about home theater and you're talking about movies, most movies are mastered with a certain soundtrack. You know, with maybe it has an Atmos soundtrack with height channels. Uh, it has surround channels, you know, maybe it's 7.2, what, what have you. But typically there is a low frequency effects discrete channel that is played specifically by and for subs, okay? So when you, when you hear of a movie being encoded in 7.1, that 0.1 is the low frequency effect discrete channel that is played only by your subs, okay? And that usually starts at 120 hertz or lower, which is why it's recommended that you have a low pass filter for your low frequency effects of 120 hertz. And then in LFE mode, you see at the bottom here, it says it plays low range and LFE signals of channels set to small. So again, it is recommended by most professionals and audio enthusiasts that you go to speaker configuration and you set whatever speakers you have in your system to small. Now, what that effectively does is it makes those speakers operate with a crossover, okay? And the recommended crossover for most speakers is 80 hertz, and you see that here for my speakers. Well, actually, I'm using 90 hertz, but THX recommends that you the standard crossover point is 80 hertz, and obviously this can vary depending on the type of speakers you have, what your tastes are, you know, testing your particular room, things of that nature. But generally it is accepted that 80 hertz is the starting and standard crossover point for speakers set as small. And when your speakers are set as small and you, they have an 80 hertz crossover, that simply means that whatever frequencies are above 80 hertz, then in this instance, my front and center channels will play them. And as those frequencies approach 80 hertz, they will slowly roll off. And as they get below 80 hertz, they will be diverted to the subwoofers for playback, okay? So the subwoofers would be playing the discrete low frequency effect channel that I told you about, the 0.1 in a 7.1 configuration. They would be playing that. And then they'd also be playing any bass diverted from these small speakers in your surround sound setup below the crossover point, okay? So what happens then when you set LFE plus main? When you set LFE plus main, what you're doing in effect is you're duplicating bass through your subwoofers. So again, your speakers are playing the low frequency effect discrete channel, the 0.1 and 7.1 as it normally would. And then if you have any other speakers set to small in your surround sound setup, it is also playing that speaker's low frequencies below the crossover point, okay? But what happens is usually when somebody sets LFE plus main, they want bass duplication. So up until this point with LFE and the discrete channel, there's no duplication. How you get duplication is when you go back to your speaker config and usually what people will do is they will set their front or tower speakers to large. Now by setting your tower speakers to large, you make them full range, full band. Meaning if you are watching a movie, whatever frequencies are going to your towers, 
there will be no crossover point. There will be no bass being diverted to your subwoofers below, say, 80 hertz. No, those speakers are full range. They play all frequencies from 20,000 hertz all the way down to, if the movie asks for it, 25, 20 hertz even. And that can be a problem because most tower speakers simply cannot handle that type of bass. So you, you may get distortion. You also, because that low bass requires a lot of wattage and power from your receiver's amplifier to really push, you strain your amplifier. So it's not always the best idea to run your towers as large unless you have massive towers that have, you know, built in 12 inch woofers and can handle that bass. Most people don't have that. I, for instance, have prime pinnacles, which are rated for 29 Hertz. That's their bottom most extension. And they only have six and a half inch woofers. They are not capable of playing, you know, 30, 25, 20 Hertz frequencies uh, very well at all. I don't, I don't think that it would just, the speakers would crap their pants. And quite honestly, you're much better off setting those speakers to small, using a crossover and diverting those low frequencies from your towers to your subs below said crossover. But some people, whether it's a matter of pride or they're, they're sticklers, they want that extra, that duplicated bass, they say to themselves, no, I'm gonna put LFE plus main on, I'm gonna set my towers, which I paid thousands of dollars for, I'm gonna set them to large because I feel as though they are capable of extending into those lower frequencies and being able to really handle it, right? So they set their front to large or their towers to large. And then what they do is they go to crossovers, okay? Now, keep in mind, this is not a traditional crossover anymore. When you're using LFE plus main and the front speakers as large, no matter what you set your crossover here for the front speakers, you could set it at 40, you could set it at 250, it won't matter. Your tower speakers are configured as large in your AVR, and that means they are going to play full band or full range regardless of what you set here. What this setting does here this crossover setting does here for your front speakers when they are set too large and you have LFE plus main engaged, is this is the level of bass duplication you are seeking or you want, basically. So if you, you feel as though I want my subwoofers to duplicate any bass being sent to my fronts below 80 hertz, and that is what LFE plus main is doing. Any speaker set too large with a crossover established that speaker will play full range and then below that crossover, in this instance 80 hertz, the subwoofer will duplicate that speaker's low frequencies. An important caveat to remember here though is when you go into bass, you see it's still LFE plus main. Okay, so you got to keep in mind if you have any speakers still set to small, in this instance I would have my center channel, right, still set to small, so that center channel would work normally. Okay, my crossover was 80 hertz. So because the, the speaker is small, then it plays any frequencies above 80 hertz, and then as it approaches and goes below 80 hertz, that bass is taken from that center channel and diverted to the subwoofer. So there's no duplication there because the center channel is small. There is only duplication from speakers that are set to large or full range, okay? So again, the fronts are large or full range, so we can set our crossovers for both types of speakers, large and small here with LFE plus main. However, with the front set to large, they are playing full range, they are playing high frequencies, low frequencies with no crossover, and then the 80 hertz you see here is simply for added bass or bass duplication for the subwoofers. So say you're watching Godzilla and he's battling some monster and there are a bunch of frequencies at 60, 50, 40, 30 hertz even, and your towers as full range towers are playing them to the best of their ability, but because you have LFE plus main engaged and because you have the crossover set to 80 hertz, then those 50, 40, 30, 20 hertz frequencies being played by your tower are also going to be duplicated by your subs. So that is why when you go into a lot of different receivers and you go into their base management, you'll see that it's not LFE plus main. It's like I said earlier, it's base boost or additional base, or as I like to call it, duplicate base. That's all this setting is. LFE plus main is duplicate base being played below a certain crossover when your speakers are set to full range or large, okay? 
If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. As always, I will do my best to get back to each and every one of you and try to clear up any confusion if it still persists. Because I do feel like this is kind of a confusing topic and there are a lot of questions on it. I was, I'll confess, I was very confused myself about this topic when I first got into home theater. I had to do quite a few hours of research to feel like I started to get a grasp on it. And then I watched a lot of people who knew a lot more information and had a lot more experience in home theater than myself. And I, I listened to them explain it time and time again. And I feel like I finally have started to get a grasp on it, okay? So don't feel bad if you still walk away from this video feeling a little confused. If you do, please, please, please leave a question down below and I will do my absolute best to try to help you out. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.